And one of the things I would want to begin this family talk today by saying is, mm. you can either have a life marriage okay. or a dead marriage. Okay, interesting. All that depends with the words of your mouth. Okay. Wow. And therefore, the kind of a family and marriage that you want to have, yes. you have the ability. True. You have the power. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, most of the time we, we ask God to give us things that already he has given. And therefore, uh, my friend, when you see a marriage that is flourishing, yeah. that is working, yes. it has to be deliberate. Wow. Mm. And Our that will not come by just thinking. Wow. It will come by what you do and what you say. Wow. And that's why I say it. Mm -hmm. If you want to have a great family, yes. wow. your words must be great. I'm so blessed <laughs> yes. and so amazed by that statement yes. that words mm -hmm. make a life, mm -hmm. a marriage to be alive, mm -hmm. or words, you know, kill mm -hmm. a marriage. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very profound it is. truth. It is. Because look at it, I'm just imagining the first day that you met your wife, yeah. mm -hmm. the first day that you met your husband, yeah. how did you connect? Uh -huh. You connected through words. Mm -hmm. Through words. So if these words were hurting, mm -hmm. yeah. you would not have given a hand of marriage. Yeah, the true. reason why I gave a hand of marriage is because the words that were spoken to me the very first day, I felt, wow, you never spoke to me hurting words. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's why I followed you exactly. and left my people. Wow. And so if that is so, then the same attitude must be carried along yes. in marriage. Yes. And so when we are talking about communication, it is something, as Pastor has said, it is something you do consciously and deliberately. Okay. In fact, for any marriage to work, you've got to be very intentional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't just be careless. Yeah. And I'm just thinking about words, Pastor, and I'm thinking them like words are vehicles. Uh -huh. Maneno ni magari. Yes. Uh -huh. And you see, the purpose of a car mm. is to move you from one destination to, to another. another. That's why the Bible is very mm. categorical. Mm -hmm. That whatever you speak, it is what will be established. Mm -hmm. ah. That is in the book of John 20, Job, Job. 22, 28. Yeah. Whatever yeah. you speak yeah. is what will be established. Actually, it so says you shall declare a thing. a thing. You shall speak a thing. And it shall, and be, it shall be established. established. Man. So uh -huh. we must uh -huh. get this consent mm -hmm. in our in our marriage that the words we speak are the ones that establishes our marriage or destroys our marriage, uh -huh. you know, and also destroys our tua tua. Mm -hmm. Because I'm just thinking, if um, I, I keep telling pastor, your joystick is big, your joystick is small, you know the way we we, we just yeah. demean it. Yeah. I don't think this mm -hmm. man, when he comes to tua tua me. The first thing that comes, your joystick is small, your joystick is big, your joystick is shrinking. I don't think he will be able to perform. Mm -hmm. But who has actually destroyed him? It's the wife. You. Because I do Two not words. know yeah. that maneno ni magari. The purpose yagari ni kupeleka mtu from one destination to another. You know, if um, a husband mm -hmm. and a wife, mm -hmm. they are careful with words, uh -huh. would have great marriages. Wonderful. Uh -huh. And my friend, I want to remember when people are courting, when people are starting family, mm -hmm. wow. they are very careful. <laughs> the what they say. Is. <laughs> the the <laughs> words they say to, yes. each, other. to each other. Yes, mm -hmm. Pastor. Actually, if you ask me, and if you do a research on tell, yeah. when people are now about to begin their family, or they're about to end, or they're in courtship and all that, the ones they talk to each other, they are ones of encouraging, uh -huh. building one another, uh -huh. ones of uh, praising one another. Yes. You always talk good of each other. Before you marry, you are very careful uh -huh. what you say. Yeah. Yes. But after you marry, now you no longer now think about your marriage as something that, is, that requires to be worked on. Yes. You take it like a project. Uh -huh. I'll explain. Mm. Because okay. if I am doing a project of building yeah. and it's supposed to last for six months, mm -hmm. after the end of those six months, I will not think about it anymore. True, oh, because right. you, you'll have had the I've result. I've already achieved yes. wow. what I wanted. Mm. Wow. Willie, mm -hmm. if men and women, mm -hmm. husbands and wives, mm -hmm. married people, yes. would want to transform 
their marriage. Mm. You must never take marriage or family as a project. Ah. Or as a one thing. As a one thing. thing. You know, uh, something that you're coming to do. Yes. And then, and then you, you get over it. You, you get, get over it. it. Yeah. Mm. You've mm -hmm. got to deliberately every day Amen. do something yes. to end up to your marriage. Amen. Okay. Why are we friends with you today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is because I am careful with the words that I speak unto you. True. It is true. When I'm speaking to you, I don't want to lose, to lose the, 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 the friendship. Yes. The other thing that is very important, yeah. if we are going to speak words that are building one another, yeah. that are encouraging one another, you must treat your wife mm -hmm. as a friend. Wow. True. Amazing. But when you treat her as just a housewife, uh -huh. you know, you treat her, she, she, she's always there with you. you even your mentality and the way you speak unto her, you may not be conscious of what you are doing. Yes. To me, one of the greatest germs that is lacking in marriages today, mm -hmm. yes. it is friendship. Oh. Wow. If people can decide to be friends, yes, Pastor. communication yes. will just turn. Wow, amazing. The problem we have mm -hmm. is of friendship. Yes. Yes. I want to say that uh, especially we women, yeah. women have to cultivate, women have to develop themselves yes. using the word of God okay. to actually become respectful and honor their husband. Yes. Naturally, a normal woman is a very rude woman uh, and controlling women we are very we have very harsh words and especially when we are frustrated and especially when we are angry and especially when we, things are not working and especially with your husband or something is not working mm -hmm. and so one of the things i would encourage every woman you have to be you know you have to allow the word of god to control your mind so that now when the word of god controls your mind it can the word of god can also control your talk um. So a, a woman, you know, vents mm -hmm. out her frustration outwardly by speaking. Because uh. you guys, when you are frustrated, most of the men, unless you are a, an extrovert, you tend to keep quiet. I agree. And especially so you don't want to look like you are competing with your wife. Mm -hmm. So this silence, yeah. this yeah. silence <laughs> is it. not that you are losing. Yes. True. And that's you one of the things that we need to understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I see we have an, a disagreement with pastor mm -hmm. and I see him withdrawing and keeping quiet, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I should know we are trending on a dangerous ground. So communication is what is destroying. We must be very conscious about that. Yeah. Anytime we have a, we are not conscious of what we are telling each other, the part that will suffer, the part that will be denied, the part that will not connect is actually to atua. Why? A man cannot fake an erection. True. A woman can because preach, you, lady, you don't preach. look like. <laughs> Let them know. You don't <laughs> look like. So you can't fake that. You, a man can't fake that. Yes. Yes. And I'm just imagining if I called my husband a prostitute, I've even told him his, uh, his joystick is small or big or it's not standing. With all that clutter, then he, I am there wanting to. I don't think it will continue. And if we start and remember that at the middle, he goes off. True. You get that. True. Then I start blaming him. When we talk about me, not knowing I have forgotten the words I said last week, last month, last year is what is disturbing him until now. Wow. And so communication is very, very important. We need to have time when we can sit down as a couple. And those who don't have, kindly create this. Because we are teaching couples on how to enhance their relationship True. and their intimacy together through communication. True. You know, tell your wife, there's something you said, and I'm not very happy with it. Yeah. Why did you tell me that my joystick is big? Why did you tell me that I love this game so much? Because where do you want me to take this urge? You see, mm -hmm. be candid yeah. and don't talk in the environment of home. Real Go questions. Go somewhere yeah. so that now mm -hmm. she can see the reality. So that now we can be able to iron all these things and remove all this pain that is going in the hearts of men and women just because there is a statement that was said. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's something that we said in our, um, one of our shows that yes. is mm -hmm. very, very important. Yes. That um, it is very important for a husband and a wife. Mm -hmm to create time to be together, uh -huh. both of them, True. Um, whereby they are only discussing matters pertaining to the both of them. Yes. Well. Actually, you are not together because you are living even under the same roof. Powerful Being pastor. together means she will sit there, mm -hmm. I will sit here, Yes. 
and we deliberately make that decision. We are not talking about my car. Mm -hmm. We are not talking about my business. Amen. We are not talking about Overcomers Hope Ministry. Yes. We are talking about Susan Monene and Joseph Monene.